Hey guys, it's Sammy, and long time no see, I can't remember the last time I've made a video actually talking to you guys that I haven't just like found on my computer and edited together, like the recent videos I've made. So today's video is going to be all about my ear piercings, because I made a video a couple months ago showing you guys me getting my third holes and middle cartilage done. And since then, I also got two more cartilage piercings. I got this middle cartilage between my middle cartilage and my top cartilage right here. And I got this middle cartilage on this ear. So I'm just going to tell you guys all about all my piercings since this was a requested video from that video. And I'm also going to be answering the questions that I got about my piercings. If you have any other questions that I forget to mention in this video, you guys can leave them in the comments down below. I'm sure I'll be able to answer them for you if I can. So I'm just going to tell you how I got all my piercings, where and when I got them. Every piercing that I've ever gotten on my ears is from Claire's using a piercing gun. Well, I heard that you're not supposed to use a gun to pierce cartilage after I got my first cartilage on this ear done. So I like, and since this one went well, I just kind of did the rest of them with a the gun, but I don't know if that's true or not. So I'm going to start off by telling you when I got every single one of my piercings. I got my first holes right here done when I was I think five years old for my sixth birthday like I was turning six that week and I got my first holes I honestly don't remember getting them at all I'm pretty sure they didn't hurt at all because my other piercings on my holes down here didn't hurt so I'm sure that one didn't hurt either but I got those pierced so long ago didn't really wear earrings that much till recently when I started <laughs> I mean now I wear a lot of earrings but I wasn't really that into wearing earrings, but I only had those pierced. And then when I was 14, turning 15 at the end of the summer, after my freshman year of high school, me and my best friend Claire decided that we were going to go get our second holes done and then our first cartilage, which is this one up here. Um, so I got those done approximately around like three years ago from now. So I've had these ones for a while. When I got these, done they didn't hurt at all just like a little pinch done that's it didn't hurt at all it was over in like two seconds this on the other hand was a little bit different this one I got pierced and it was like a pinch and then it felt really really hot and then it kind of hurt a little bit but not really and then for months after it was sore that's completely normal with cartilage piercings because whenever you hit them or touch them it hurts your whole ear it just feels sore so it was the worst and of course I'm just not good at brushing my hair so I would like brush my hair get my little cartilage piercing stuck in it and it would hurt so bad and I was like ah, like I wanted to cry every single time it was awful then this year in the winter I decided that I wanted to get my third holes just because I wanted to balance it out because I thought it just kind of looked awkward because there was just the two on the bottom and then there was the one on the top so I was like if I get a third it will fill up my whole like earlobe I guess. I got my third holes. These didn't hurt at all. Just a pinch. It was done. That's it. Got them done. I was happy with it. I liked it. I was actually walking with my mother on the cliff walk in Newport and I said, why don't I just get my middle cartilage? Like wouldn't that look cool? So I was talking about this piercing right here. And my mom was like, yeah, like sure, that'd be cool. So that afternoon, like literally a couple hours later, I went and I got my middle cartilage pierced on this ear. So I got this done around the beginning of June. It was within a week after I graduated, so I got this one. And then the other day, like a couple weeks ago, towards the beginning of August, I got this cartilage and this cartilage. I wanted to get two cartilage piercings on this ear last week, but they wouldn't let me do that because you can only get one cartilage piercing per ear per day. And it was like a better deal to get two earrings and just get one earring. So what I did was I got the two. So I got this earring and this middle cartilage. So now I have six piercings on this ear and I have four on this ear. Um, they don't really ever hurt. The only time that they do hurt is when they get sore from sleeping on them weird. If I hit them by accident, if I pull, if they get stuck in my hair, that hurts a lot when I'm like fixing my hair and it just gets stuck and I'm like ouch that's not fun these two cartilage piercings hurt exactly the same as this cartilage from what I remember so that is the story of how I got all my ears pierced I'm just going to go ahead and answer the questions that you guys left on my last video showing you my piercings. so this person said I'm getting my second 
ear love piercing this weekend. Do you think if I were to get my third at the same time, it would hurt a lot? Or should I just wait until it's completely healed, then get my third? Some people have been saying to wait. Personally, I got this piercing and this piercing on the same day, but again, they're two different parts of my ear, so I don't really know. I would honestly just go for it. I'm pretty sure you can get two piercings in the same ear the same day, but if you're nervous about it, then I would just get one piercing and then get another one the next time that you go or when the other one's healed. But I honestly, I don't think it matters if you do the low ones, but I know for a fact that you can't get two cartilage in the same ear on the same day, because it's just not good for your ears at all. And then someone else also asked me how did I convince my parents and how old am I? So I'm 17 right now, I'm turning 18 in a week from tomorrow, today's the 19th of August. So my birthday's the 27th of August, so I will be 18 soon, but since I am 17, Right now, I do have to have my parents' consent to every single piercing I get. Like, a piercing place won't pierce your ears unless you're over 18 without that consent from your parent or guardian. So every single time I've gotten my ears pierced, my mom has had to sign off for it. My mom always told me that it's my body, so I can do whatever I want with it. And she always said that about my hair, too. She said, it's my hair. I can do what I want with it. So when I was younger, I... <laughs> Fun fact about me, if you didn't know, my hair has been three colors. This is my natural color, this brown color, and then I dyed my whole hair black in 8th grade, and then when I was going into ninth grade, I dip dyed the tips of my hair um, blonde, and then I dip dyed them purple in the beginning of freshman year until it faded out, and then I ended up cutting it off because it was dead on. But anyway, so my mom just always let me do what I want to do. I didn't have to convince her anything, but some parents are strict and won't let you get piercings. I feel like some of my friends have parents like that that just won't let them get piercings. So, if you want to get piercings, you might have to wait till you're older if your parents don't consent to it. But I know when you're 18, you can do whatever you want because you can legally sign for yourself because you're an adult. So, this person said, I've never gotten a piercing in my life and my friend is trying to get me to get my ears pierced and I'm terrified of needles and guns. Any helpful words of advice? What I would say is don't get your ears pierced if someone's telling you to. Pierce your ears because you want to, because if you get a piercing because someone told you to, you're going to regret it most likely because you'll be like, I didn't fully want this, someone told me to do it, you'll see it, you'll be like, I didn't want this. But even if you regret a piercing, you can just take it out and wait for it to close up and then it's gone. Unless you're doing gauges because those don't close, which I would never do gauges, gauges gross me out so much. I'm going to go on a rant, but... I've never pierced my ears with a needle, so I don't know any, I don't have any experience on that, so I don't know which one's better, because I've only pierced my ears with the guns, which I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I did. So, I don't have any experience. Piercing my ears with a gun didn't really hurt at all. It was just pinch, it's over, besides the heat that you feel after you get a cartilage piercing. I don't really know why, it just feels hot. And I, like, have a very, like, low pain tolerance. Like, I get pinched, and I'm like, oh, it hurts so bad. So yeah, those are all the questions that I had on my video. If you guys have any other questions about my piercings, let me know in the comments down below. I will be sure to answer them for you. And let me know what videos you guys would like to see on my channel next. I actually am going to college in like less than two weeks, so I will be filming at school. I'm not going to stop making videos because I'm going to college. I will still be making videos. Yeah. Also, let me just throw this out there because I talk with my hands a lot, as you probably can tell. And I'm wearing a wrist support on my wrist right now because I don't know what I did, but at practice, at gymnastics, I did something to my wrist and it hurts whenever I put pressure on it, so right now I have a support on it. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!